Hi, my name is Carl Chun. I'm the Vice President of Engineering and Quality here at Paramit Corporation. I'd like to talk today about our um, best-in-class training programs. A little while back, we, es we established a goal to really raise the level of uh, how we do our training with our, with our employees. Uh, we wanted to really target how the best-in-class people around the world do their training. And what that has turned into is what we call our Paramit Eagle Training Program. The goal really was to dramatically improve the quality levels within our factory as well as the service levels to our customers. So we, the way we looked at it, we thought about who really does training the best throughout the world, throughout history. And let's try to model a program after that. We started out looking at apprenticeship programs going years back. If you wanted to be a blacksmith in England, you started out at the age of 12 working with a blacksmith. By 17, you were accomplished. So that concept really had us um, uh, thinking about how do we get those uh, experts, those senior blacksmiths into the company? And then how do we, do, we, how do we go in and do a one-on-one -on -one training with each of our people in the similar sort of vein? The next thing we looked at is how do you know they really are best in class? And to that we turned towards our customer base, which is the medical equipment uh, companies as well as the military. How do they train their people, their folks work in life and death situations? And the critical element of theirs, they incorporate a lot of philosophies of the, the apprenticeship program, but the critical element of theirs is they have experts certify every single person. So what we did is we put all of that together and, and created a Paramount Eagle program. So how does that work here at Paramount? Behind me is our surface mount area. We started off first in this area. We wanted to keep it small and focused. Um, we decided to make the time commitment towards the standard apprenticeship program. We dedicated 50% of the subject matter expert's time towards this training. What he did was he spent, he created a training program that was broad and very, very comprehensive. In other words, this machine here is a solder paste print machine. The operator for this machine wasn't just trained on how to operate the machine. He was actually trained in all the engineering duties related to that machine. Maintenance, how to set it up, how to program it, how to qualify it as well as operator training. Beyond that, the uh, subject matter expert spent a lot of time with repetitive activities. Training, having the, the trainee brief back, and doing it over and over again. Throwing various different problems at them until he felt comfortable that uh, that trainee had the, the, subject, the subject in hand. The next step was then our Eagle certification panel. We developed the objective criteria um, to certify uh, an employee and that employee had to stand in front of a panel of experts and go through a rigorous set of questions to demonstrate that they really had the material in hand. It is a very time consuming process, but in order for it to really take hold, to, 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 to have the training programs really take hold, we felt we had to make the commitment to do this. Uh, it has paid off uh, well beyond our, what we had originally planned. The current quality levels in this area are, are at world class levels. Process defects in the SMT area our sub-10 DPMO, defects per million opportunity. We are running on average every month somewhere in the six to seven DPMO range. A large contribution of that was the efforts made in the training program. That's all I have to say today. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me. Uh, thanks for your time.